Well, we had one third of the triple thread here, which is uh, Becky Lynch. Between her, Seth, and Edge, we got three characters on the show who all are far better as baby faces, but they're all heels. And she's got some outfit on, and she's got her new haircut, and she's in the ring, and she's uh, just cutting this. I can't even say it's a promo. She's just all sad, and she hasn't. It's been three years since she's, she's all, walked around without the belt, doing, and she doesn't know who she is without thing. this championship, and she's just droning on and on. She's at rock bottom. And uh, finally, whose music should hit but Asuka? And this place went crazy for Asuka. And she dances her way down to the ring and uh, gets this big baby face pop, and then she says, I will stop you. Nobody is ready for Asuka. She... Flicks Becky in the nose. She dances more. Lynch tries to take a swing at her. Oscar ducks, and uh, Becky goes running. And well, it's a hell of a return. Take a swing. Oscar tried to take a swing at Becky, who also ducked, and then Becky bailed. So the deal is, is Becky said that um, you know she was all depressed and she's at her bottom, and then she all, all of a sudden realized that once you're at your rock bottom. All you have to do is go up. So she realized that she's going to make this great comeback. And uh, so I guess she's going to be wrestling Asuka. I don't know if it's the pay-per-view um, or just a TV feud, but uh, get them both in there. So, um, you know, obviously the return of Asuka is probably going to be something good for the women's division because she can be the most talented in-ring performer of all the women that they've got when she's at her best. We had a Miz TV segment with Theory, and uh, the Miz TV segment itself, the first part of it was just, I mean, the absolute worst of WWE. It was our usual. We got to rattle off all of Miz's accomplishments. We've heard 55,000 times. He's a two time. But, but the, the, the difference was just Theory did it, not Miz. Uh, theory it cut Miz's promo. Who did it, bro. I've heard this a thousand times. I got it. This guy's a oh, two time Grand Slam. Blah, 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 blah. blah. I know, I know. And I know. finally, you know the thing with yes, the the thing the the thing with um with theory. You know they're super high on theory right now, and it, it it's one of those things where okay, it's like he's got a good body and he's good looking, and he's he's pretty athletic and all. But there's something. It's like I I think that what it was was like John Cena said the thing right where he's he's better than me at everything, which which is preposterous because from a charisma standpoint, Austin Theory is, is nowhere close to John Cena from a promo standpoint. And boy, was that obvious tonight, you know, because uh, I'm watching this going like, this guy, like, like I mean, I can see why you're the behind him and he's young, you know, I, you know, and all that. And then they really want to make a young star. I mean, they've been, they've been wanting that, that guy in their, in the mid twenties, you know, to push, you know, um, so I get, you know, Given given the guy a try and everything, but from a promo standpoint, he's just a guy. You know, like your top guy has to get that promo thing down, and um, and, and perhaps he will. But when I was watching, you know, his big thing is, you know, like well, Vince says I'm a top star. You know what I mean? I'm the protege of Vince, and somehow because of that, he's supposed to be this top star now. Even though up until a couple of weeks ago, as the protege of Vince, he was kind of like a goof. You know, now he's supposed to be serious. Now he's the U.S. champion, and you know, um, I'm sure they're going to give him a real big push and everything, and we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I, 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 um, I don't, I don't feel the charisma. He may develop it. I'm not against the push, but so I just sort of think that they, um, that they look and go like good body, good looking equals star, and it's really you know star is charisma. And I'm not saying he doesn't have it, but he doesn't have, like, the charisma level that I would associate with a top WWE star. He feels like a mid-carter um, and needs to develop a lot more. You know, and they're going to give him, they're going to strap the rocket to him, it looks like. So so we'll see. So Ali makes his big return here, and uh, he and Miz go back and forth burying each other and... Ali wants a match with uh, with Miz, and Miz does not want this match. And he's talking about, oh, I don't have a magic wand. I could just make these matches. And then Theory goes, well, you know, I just uh, texted Vince, and uh, he says the match is on. 
So, of course, Miz is upset about this, and we get Miz versus Ali. And they only went uh, seven minutes, but I think that this was the best Miz singles match I've seen in I don't even know how long. And obviously, you know, Ali was great. But uh, Miz was working hard in this match, and they had some good spots. And finally, Miz hits a low drop kick. He goes for the figure four. Ali reverses into a cradle and pins him. And, uh, of course, Miz is furious, got pinned by the returning Ali. And then his, uh, Ali is celebrating. Champa, who no longer has a first name, rushed in and laid him out. So I guess now he's a heel. He's a heel, and that's going to be the match. You know, him and him and Ali, that's going to be the, the, the you know, which, uh, as far as a feud goes... Um, it should be a hell of a feud. I mean, well, it could, it, they could have they could have incredible matches if they were given time. But I don't know that I don't know that they'll get that time on Raw. I mean, like, are they going to go in there and, and give these two guys fifteen minutes? Um, and we'll see. I mean, they may, but I I think they won't. I think that's what what may hurt it. But I mean, whatever time they're you know the potential for these two guys, obviously, they could have great matches. Yes. And they were definitely teasing a future uh, match with Ollie in theory for the uh, the U.S. title. So I don't know if we have time to do that one at the pay-per-view or, or what, but I don't know. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.